Hey there, everyone. Well, we got an important subject that we're going to talk about today. It's about making money. There's many ways to do it. So first off, we're going to talk about online. Making money online breaks down to a couple things. You're either going to be offering yourself for a service, or we're going to offer ourselves um, as selling a product. Essentially both things though, we're going to be offering that we're going to be doing something. Whether it's a physical thing or something you're going to be doing. So, you can either go to sites like eBay, um, Amazon, other things, and you can sell products. Or we can do a service on like Fiverr or other things like that. Where you're offering to do said thing. Now, Google is a very big resource that everyone uses, and if you haven't heard the name Google, you must be living under a rock, I presume. But, the age of online is now, and so you have learned something new. The most visited sites go across the way, and there's a lot of money out there, according to this chart. So how do we plan on making money on Google? Well, we first need to be seen. Seen on the Google page. If we aren't seen, then you aren't showing your stuff. Now what Google themselves are showing depends. Are you paying money or not? There is a fine line between paying versus results. They cross over at some point where it's worth it and where it's not worth it. What that point is is really dependent on what you're selling, what you're doing, and who you're marketing to. The top part of Google whenever you first search, that is going to be a paid part. They usually say add on them and you know it's a, a paid website. But they're pretty accurate sometimes. Now the one on the right side is also a paid area. But those are going to be more localized to your location. If you are dependent on having the top page or a local, I personally think local is the better option to go with. Having organic viewers is also very important when growing. So make sure you spread your name, your word, whatever you're doing to anyone and everyone. Whenever you are getting yourself out there, you need to make sure you choose good words, good names, something that's catchy, and having a good tags on your items or just things that are in high demand. You can look on Google and they'll have a keyword sh uh, chart that'll show you what words are used a lot. And you can type in whatever, and it'll show you how many searches in the month or year, or how many ever far back you need it to go. <laughs> SEOs. Very important business if you want to get yourself a foot in the door in the online selling atmosphere. So this is where you are going to be going to companies and telling them that if you bring in so many people that you get paid so much and you're basically doing an advertisement for them and you're the ad person for different companies. And that's what a SEO is in a basic sense. Hey, you making sure you're recording? You know how to work that? So, Whenever offering your services, you can either offer a percentage or offer 
a so total as a income. <clears throat> like, do you want $5,000 for your services or would you like 10% of whatever returns through the time period? That is a very important distinction and strategy which you choose. And a lot of people are gonna more likely be wanting to go down the lump sum route to whenever you're engaging in conversation with different companies. All right, so that gets us to our next way of making money online. You can make a website for yourself. It seems like every company that is big has a website. So why not jump on that train? It's okay to follow some people if it's a proven strategy to work. You should always do what works. And having a website is just a way to have an audience come to you. It's a way to have yourself a presence online. You have claimed that space for yourself online. And so that's why it's so important to have yourself a website. And with the internet growing even bigger everywhere, everyone should have a website. Whether you choose to demonstrate yourself or if you're offering a service or if you're just selling products on your website, I think it's valuable to have one. It's important to get yourself an IP, a domain name, and have somewhere where you're hosting it. So, who might you sell this? You can also sell your website to other people. Who might you sell your website to? You can sell it to the government, schools, children, anyone that needs a website. Everyone, like I said, should have a website, but that's not the case. There are many people that don't see the benefits of having a website. And so that's where it's your job to show them different avenues they can make money. And diversification is a very good thing to bring up when talking to different businesses about this. Now you can just host people's websites as well online. You can make money doing the just details of making a website. There is a thousand jobs in between when it comes to making a website. There are different opportunities at every corner when it comes to online. And it's about how you can capitalize on them and optimize them for yourself to achieve your goal in the money making strategy. I'm not offering a one path route here online. There is like routes that go everywhere in every direction, a place for everyone to go, your own personality, your own spot on the web, on the web. Now it's very important that you capitalize on your domain name, something that is catchy that people will look up. This is what you're going to be searching in whenever you are looking up stuff. Um, so if you are selling cup, 